nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the Trucker Rudy Show this morning Yeah, we're currently in Iowa Yeah, we got her up uh, fairly early this morning And uh, got her going So uh, here we are just cruising right on along here and it's a little foggy this morning so yeah I didn't really have time to uh, get started there on the vlog and it was, plus it was dark you know so I figured I would wait till the sun rises yeah look at that we're in uh, snow country now it looks like I know yesterday been, yesterday they've been getting a lot of snow up in this area so I expect to see even more snow yet down the road but hey it's winter time winter has officially arrived in my opinion yes indeed it has yeah I just hope it uh, won't be too bad I know uh, we still haven't gotten any reloads yet, but I wanted to try and get there to the customer as early as I could. I didn't quite get out of bed as early as I originally wanted, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. But we'll get there. It looks like right now, if we don't make any pit stops, we'll be there at 11.30, but I think we will make another pit stop here on uh, the 380 there by uh, Hike Run Hill uh, High Run Elk or something like that it's there by Water Waterloo or whatever whatever that's called up there there is a pilot up there and I'm thinking I'm gonna go in there and fuel the truck up I was gonna do that last night there at the Petro and then I decided nah I'll just wait till today so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go down there to the uh, pilot there and fuel her up and that way we will be good to go. We do all of a sudden get us a reload out of uh, Burlington, Iowa, then we will be good to go, right? So let's hope for the best that, uh, that that's going to happen and go from there. We still don't have nothing, so... But I've been talking to some drivers yesterday from Penners and uh, it sounds like that there's a few drivers coming towards Iowa. I know one is already delivering here right now and the other one is behind me somewhere. He had one drop in Minnesota, so... So yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, let's see what kind of day we will have today. I hope it's going to be a good one. I really hope that we'll get a load towards Toronto. That way we can get some good miles and all that good stuff. That would be awesome. All right, we have just fueled up here in uh, Elk Run Height. That's what it was called. Yeah, we fueled her up, 165 gallons. Yeah, we had ran a little bit over, I think, 1,100 miles. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we managed to get 7 uh, miles to the gallon, U.S. miles to the gallon. So, that's pretty good, I would say. We did really good here this uh, last week here with fuel mileage there after we uh, fueled her up there in uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan at the Flying Jailer, that's the last time he fueled up. We went all the way back home, and then from home all the way up here to Iowa, that's when we fueled up. Only 165 gallons, that's not too bad. At least I don't think it is, I don't think it's really that bad. But yeah, it looks like we got a scale coming up here pretty soon, so we'll see if they're open today I don't think that they are because according to another driver that just got on the radiator before I got on the air here they said that they were locked up but he said a couple of DOTs were heading that way so 
they might be opening up soon they might have just gone into town for a little uh, coffee break or something yeah, that's a good possibility yeah it looks like there's a well, almost looks like a smoky bear there on the side but it actually looks like a car that hit the ditch <laughs> I, at first I was gonna say it looked like there was a cop on the on the side here but it looks like somebody spun out over here went on the beach yeah oh well it probably was pretty slippery yesterday so luckily I was able to avoid all of that snow and most of it anyways we got a little bit there in Manitoba right but other than that yeah that's pretty much all we got yeah, let's see if the scale will be open or closed, but yeah, it's still very foggy and kind of open it goes away. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of open it will go away here pretty soon. Now uh, we got a nice calm day today though. It's not windy whatsoever. Yeah, our scale is locked up. Yeah. We don't have to go in there and waste time in there. I mean, I'm light. I'm only 6,000 pounds in the trailer, right? So, it's not like I gotta worry about it. It's, uh, you know, I wanna keep my uh, door closed and go up to uh, my delivery. I don't wanna have any slowdowns too much. I mean, I had to fuel up. I mean, I mean, it didn't really have to have to, but I just wanted to so that way I am good to go when I get a reload. Whatever, I'm fueled up, I'm good to go. If they load heavy or whatever, well, we're just gonna have to take a pallet or two off, I guess. But, uh, yeah, if, if it's too heavy, right? But yeah, it looked like the DOT cop was sitting in the scale there, but I guess he's on his break right now or whatever, so that's good for us. <laughs> I ain't gonna complain about that, that's for sure. But I wanna say this, they almost got more snow here than I think we had in Manitoba up till yesterday. Well at least in Steinbach. I don't I don't wanna say Manitoba, Steinbach. Steinbach really didn't get much here the last little while there. We got a little bit Winnipeg and Winnipeg West. Uh, Winni uh, west of Winnipeg there we got quite a bit of snow actually but <laughs> Not in, nothing really in Steinbach, so. But my wife said it snowed yesterday, so I don't know how much they got, but she was talking about it. Saying that it looked like it had snowed alright, you might have to shovel. But yeah, let's make our journey over to our delivery and see what kind of reload we will get. I'm starting to get curious if they'll have a load for me because I still don't have anything yet I am only about five miles to my delivery ladies and gentlemen yes indeed and I got some good news for you guys we have gotten us a reload offer yes indeed and it's the one that I was hoping for I would get yes Picking up out of uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa and going to Toronto, Brampton basically. That's exactly the load I was hoping for and that makes me extremely, extremely happy to have gotten that load. Yes indeed, so now the rush is on to uh, get down to my delivery here and uh, hopefully they'll get me unloaded real quick and then we'll be able to uh, go down to my pickup location and get us our reload on and all that good stuff yeah I just had to slow down a little bit because you know truck and a car or whatever coming onto the highway and feels like it's starting to get a little windy over here it wasn't windy at all there earlier and now all of a sudden it's starting to get windy Anyways, we'll get out of here and then we'll uh, try and find our way down to our customer. I have just got my load off. Yeah, it took about two and a half hours or two and a, two hours and 15 minutes by the time we finally got unloaded. 
so now we're making our way down to our uh, reload location which is only a hundred miles away so it's not that much of driving we got to do but still got to do some right but uh, yeah but yeah, an hour and 45 minutes I would say of driving and we'll be at our pickup location which is going to be uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yes, indeed. We want to go down there and see uh, see what it looks like if my load is ready. According to my satellite, it is ready. So uh, if that really is the case, then uh, I think I'm gonna see if I can just do a quick trailer switch and uh, get out of there and uh, maybe I can go over to Iowa 80 truck stop or something like that. Call it a day for today and not work for today. It'll probably be dark by the time we get down there. So, so yeah. Alright, come on four wheelers, let go. But yeah. We'll see exactly how far we actually make it, but but uh, yeah. Now this is not even a turn off over here, four wheeler. He was trying to turn down here. That's like you're going the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> you can't go turn down that way. In 700 feet, <laughs> take the entrance to the left on Some US people, right? West. There we go. There we go make this turn up here and then we'll be on the US 34 and then uh, take that over to 281 and then we'll be going north again yeah but at least the wind feels like it's died down a little bit and it's not as foggy anymore as what it was earlier looks like that's where they make spark plugs right there champion yeah, wow, okay. Now we know where they make the spark plugs. <laughs> At least they got a spark plug uh, sign there, so I'm assuming that's where they make spark plugs. <laughs> wow, interesting. Yeah, they make all kinds of stuff in Iowa, that's for sure. But yeah, let's make our way down to our pickup and Continue on this hope road. for the best. Look at here, guys. We got uh, Smokey Bear pulled somebody over. Uh, just coming over the over uh, uh, pass here. When he did that, I'm pretty sure somebody is going to get himself a little ticket or something. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. In two miles, take yeah, exit. Yeah, we're only... Two miles away from my pickup location. Yes, indeed we are. So, I just wanted to show you that little copter and got himself a capture there. I don't know what that four-wheeler did. I didn't see it, but he turned on his lights and he pulled them over. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that looks like a lot of fog out here from these factories up here. But anyways, we'll go get out of here and then we'll go ahead and see how happy they are to see us over there to pick up our load. Well, well, well guys, we have made it to our pickup and uh, we already did our trailer switch and went another hour down the road and guess what? We're here at the Iowa 80 truck stop at the largest truck stop in the world. Yes, indeed. And it is really foggy right now, otherwise I would be uh, taking off with my drone and I would show you this truck stuff, but uh, you don't really want to fly it when it's that uh, foggy, you know. You can't really see it and so then I don't really feel safe flying it when it's not visible, you know. So yeah, anyways. We're going to call it a day here for today and continue on tomorrow with our journey. So, appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, we will see you again tomorrow right here on the Trucker Rudy Show. So, don't go nowhere. Come back tomorrow and leave me comments, share the video and hit that like button and 
do all them good things that make us love our job. And we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.